So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the M1 International A Level Mechanics October 2021 exam. This is from Pearson's in Excel. The position vector r meters of a particle p at time t seconds relative to a fixed origin o is given by this vector r equals t minus 3i plus i minus 2tj. Find to the nearest degree the size of the angle between r and the vector j when t equals 0. So when t equals 0, okay, the vector r, well, let's first of all write down what the vector r is. I like to use column vectors. It just organizes everything much better. So I'm going to put t minus 3 on the i component and 1 minus 2t on the j component. And when t is equal to 2, I'm going to find what r is. So I have 2 minus 3 and 1 minus 2 times 2. So therefore, r is going to be negative 1 and 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. That's going to be the <coughs> vector r when t equals 2. Okay, when t equals 2. Now, we want to find the angle between r and the vector j. Now, the vector j is a unit vector going in the direction of north. Okay, so it's a unit vector going up like this. This is the vector j. Okay, it's one unit long going up that way. And our vector is the vector minus 1 minus 3. So our vector will look something like this. It will go, let's say it starts from here, we'll go minus 1 and then minus 3. So it looks something like this. Let me make some more space here. So minus 1 and minus 3. Okay, something like that. That's our vector. That's our vector r when t is 3. I'll call it r3. Now, <clears throat> I need to find the angle between j, which is pointing north, and this, which is pointing down here. So it's, it's this angle over here that I need to find. Okay, it's this angle over here. Now, if I find the angle down here, let me just make a, a line, make it thin. If I find the angle over here, this angle over here, Okay, let me call this angle X. All right, if I find this angle, then the angle that I need, let me call the angle I need theta. Okay, let me call the angle theta. That angle will be 180 minus X. How do I find the angle X? Well, I know this is the vector negative 1, negative 3. So it goes 1, this is 1 across to the left, and this is 3 down. So this is a right angle triangle here with components 1 and 3 here. So we can find this angle using... The tangent ratio. So we say the tangent of angle x is 1 over 3. So x is equal to the inverse tan of 1 third. So we can find out what that is by using a calculator. So we have inverse tangent of 1 third. And that gives us 18.434. 18.4349, it continues on like that. Okay, so our angle, which we've called theta, is 180 minus 18.4349, whatever it is. So the angle we need, which we've called theta, is 180. Take away this angle that we had before. So we get 161.565. 161.565. So therefore, the angle between R and J, the angle, not the angles, the angle between R and J, okay, when T equals 2, is 162 degrees. Because they say to the nearest degree, so I have to round it to the nearest whole lump, whole 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 degree. So there's your answer to part A, quite straightforward. Then it says, find the values of t for which the distance of p from o is 2.5 meters. So the position vector r is basically the, the position vector means that the distance 
or the vector that takes you from O to P, the position vector of a particle P from O. So the position vector of the particle is O to P. So R is equal to O to P. So R is, okay, so the position vector of O to, of P is O to P, and that's equal to R, and R is equal to, as we write it in this form, T minus 3 over 1 minus 2T. And we need to find when the magnitude of P from O is 2.5 meters. So how do you find the magnitude of a vector? Well, you square the components of I and the components of J. And you add them together and find their square root, and that gives you the magnitude. So this would be basically the same as finding 2.5 squared. Okay, so I don't need to write the square root and then square it again. The square of the x component or the i component plus the square of the y component gives us the square of the distance between them using the is it using Pythagoras' theorem. Actually. So now what we can do is we can just expand these brackets. So you have t squared minus 6t plus 9 plus 1 squared, which is 1. Then you, you multiply these together and double them, so minus 4t, and you square the last term, gives you plus 4t squared equals, and this is like 5 over 2 all squared. So t squared plus 4t squared is 5t squared. Negative 6t minus 4t is minus 10t. 9 plus 1 is 10. And this is 25 over 4. Now, I want to simplify this a bit. Now, I can see that if I divide both sides by 5, then all of these terms will get simplified. I'll have t squared minus 2t plus 2 is equal to 5 over 4. And then I can multiply both sides by 4. So I have 4t squared minus 8t plus 8 equals 5. And then as it's a quadratic, I will equate it to 0. So 4t squared minus 8t plus 3 equals 0, 8 minus 5. Now I can factorize this. Okay, so to factorize this, I need two numbers which multiply to give me the same as this times this. That's going to give me the same as 12t squared. And when I, multi when I add them together, I get negative 8t. So they both have to have the same sign. Both signs must be negative. Numbers that multiply to give me 12 and add to give me 8, well, that's 6 and 2. So 6t and negative 2t. Negative 6t and negative 2t. Let's see, 2 goes into, well, the common factor of these two terms is 2t. 2t two times 2t is 4t squared. 2t times minus 1 gives me 2t, and 2t times minus 3 gives me minus 6t. So I've got my factors 2t minus 1 and 2t minus 3 equals 0. And so I can say the, the value of t is a half or 3 over 2. And it says here, find the values of t for which the distance is from P of P from O is 2.5 meters. Well, there we are. Those are the two values of T, which I think in seconds, well, they said in terms of T, it doesn't matter. So you can leave it like a half and three over two, no problem. Okay, but those are the values of T for which the distance between the origin and P will be 2.5 meters. Okay, so there's the answer for part A and B. I think that's all there is in this question for um, I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching. Other questions about vectors you can find, or other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions about vectors should be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.